I'm sure it does me good. <laughs> it is, eh? oh. How's that then? One stroke. Blue Peter's had many presenters over the years, but John Noakes was special. The cheery, funny daredevil from Halifax. At this level, the plinth on which Nelson stands overhangs the column. I found myself literally hanging from the ladder with nothing at all beneath me. In an age with a rather relaxed attitude to health and safety, the words, and then it was my turn, led to some startling moments. Take the moment he crashed out of a bobsleigh on the crest to run. I thumped onto the ice and carried on down the track on my backside, still doing around 80 miles an hour. He'd grown up in Shelf near Halifax, joined the RAF, then trained as an actor before landing the job of presenting Blue Peter. The Yorkshire accent and the willingness to do anything for a laugh stood out at a time when children's television was rather more formal. <laughs> he also had his own programme, Go With Noakes, where he sampled all the pleasures of life out and about in Britain. But he tired of television and set off in a yacht with his wife, settling in Mallorca after a shipwreck. Okay. His memories of Blue Peter, though, were not entirely fond. He felt he'd been badly paid, underinsured, and overworked. I've been doing two years of Go With Notes while still doing the Blue Peter. I was doing like a 14-month year. You might wonder what I'm doing up here. And I'm beginning to wonder myself. <laughs> Occasionally, he returned to the TV screens, once to answer a question. Whatever happened to John Noakes and Shep? I've got some very sad news. He died on Saturday. Oh. And uh, I haven't got over it. No, Shep, don't bite him. He's a nice little fella. Hey, hey, that's enough. In uh, truth, the John Noakes we all knew was in many ways an act he was happy to say goodbye to. But that good-humoured, down-to-earth daring did give us some memorable TV moments. And you can feel the speed! <laughs>